If you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I do the creamy garlic sauces quite a little bit, and I've seen this one do its rounds on the internet. It's called Marry Me Chicken. It is literally just a creamy garlic sauce with sun-dried tomatoes and chicken. It is beautiful, it tastes fantastic, it's easy to make, and it's quite cheap too, so let's get straight into it. Now to start this off, there's not much preparation needed to be done. We're going to need one brown or yellow onion. Just slice this in half, remove the skins, and then dice this into small to medium-sized pieces. Make sure you get that horizontal slice in there to break up the formation, and you can save all of the scraps for a stock. Next is five cloves of freshly peeled garlic. These can be ran along a microplane or a fine box grater just to create a paste. You can also crush them and dice them. It's completely up to you. What I have here is five grams of fresh thyme and five grams of fresh oregano. We're going to slice these or chop them up. You can also pick the leaves off if they have woody stems and you can also use dried herbs, which I'll leave details about in the description. The last ingredient we're going to prepare is our chicken. I'm using three chicken breasts. You can also use thigh for this recipe. I'll have details about that in the description as well. But with the breasts, we're going to slice them horizontally, follow along that slice to open it up like a butterfly, hence the name butterflied, then just continue along and slice this into two even sized fillets. Once you have that done, transfer these into a large mixing bowl, generously season them with some salt as well as cracked black pepper. 30 cracks worth. As well as about five milliliters or even up to 10 milliliters of olive oil. Then use a glove or some tongs and just quickly rub that seasoning into the chicken until you have something that looks like this. As for the cooking part of this recipe, place a large high rimmed pan over a medium high heat. Add in 40 milliliters of sun-dried tomato oil. This is the oil that sun-dried tomatoes come in. If you don't want to use that, just use regular olive oil. Add in the chicken, doing so in batches if the pan's not big enough, and sear these for about three and a half to four minutes on each side until they're beautifully golden. And then once that's done, just flip them over, repeat that same process, then remove them and place them into a bowl. Now into the same pan, we're going to add in 28 grams of unsalted butter. Just move that around a little bit, allow it to start melting. And before it's even melted, you can add in the onions that we prepared before, as well as a little bit of salt to taste. Then we're going to saute these for about three to four minutes, just until they're golden and starting to become a little bit translucent, as well as releasing their moisture, picking up the flavor left behind in the pan. Next to go in is the garlic. Just break this up and fold it through the onions. We're going to stir this the whole time, roughly for about 45 seconds to one minute. Then we're going to deglaze the pan with 80 milliliters of white wine or chicken stock if you can't consume alcohol. I don't have any white wine in the house. My fiance drank it all, so I use chicken stock instead. But we're going to bring this to a boil and just allow it to reduce for one minute. And this was going to pick up all of that delicious flavor. To increase the depth, we're going to add in 20 grams of Dijon mustard. Fold this all together, cook it for one minute until you have this beautiful looking onion mix. And then we're going to add in 180 milliliters of chicken stock. This is going to be the base of our sauce and also be a beautiful foundation as well as one cup or 250 milliliters of thickened cream, also known as whipping cream or double cream. 100 grams of sun-dried tomatoes. These are sun-dried tomato strips. If you have whole, I do recommend slicing them up. Two grams of dried chili flakes for a little bit of heat. This is completely optional. If you don't like it, don't add it. As well as some freshly grated parmesan cheese. And the amounts are completely up to you. I just don't recommend going too overboard on this. Now with that all in, give this a really good mix through for those flavors to become friends. And a little fact, the name of this dish, Marry Me Chicken, means that the flavors are married together. But I'm sure they'll probably want to marry someone if they serve this to you as well. We're also going to hit it up with some cracked black pepper. Just be careful on the salt content on this because parmesan cheese does contain quite a bit. And depending on the sun-dried tomatoes you use, they can contain salt. What we're going to do is bring this up to a heavy simmer. We're going to reduce the heat to low and let this cook for about six to seven minutes until you have a beautiful consistency. The sauce is nice and thick and the flavors have developed really well. Add in the fresh thyme and the fresh oregano. This is going to create a beautiful infusion and we add it at the end just so that these herbs don't turn black. We're going to cook this for one minute just for that infusion to happen. And then what I'm going to do is add in 15 grams of fresh basil leaves. This is optional, but I do highly recommend it. It adds fantastic flavor. And you can also add spinach to this if you wanted to just to add a little bit more green. But again, we're going to mix this through and only mix this until the basil leaves start to wilt. Now with all of that delicious flavor in there, we can increase it even more by adding the chicken back in as well as all of the resting juices that are in the bowl. All we have to do now is just spread the chicken out, making sure that it's not stacked on top of one another and just flip this around a couple of times just so that sauce can coat the chicken really well. We're also going to cook this for about one to two minutes right now, just until the chicken has become hot in the center again, because obviously we rested it before. I'm also adding a little bit more Parmesan cheese. Again, the amount's completely up to you and you don't have to add this if you don't want to, as well as some cracked black pepper, 20 cracks worth. And make sure you mix this all together. Make sure that cheese melts really nicely. And I do recommend folding the chicken through again. And this is during that same one to two minute process. So no extra cooking is needed if you do end up adding in the Parmesan cheese. 
Now with serving this recipe, you can serve it with rice, pasta, potatoes, mash, or even a variety of different vegetables. However you do it, just make sure you top it off with a beautiful amount of sauce, getting all of that delicious flavor in there. And this recipe serves roughly three to four people, depending on portion size. I do recommend hitting it up with some fresh basil leaves that have been roughly torn as well. Adds a bit of color and extra freshness. Great over some more Parmesan cheese, a little bit of pecorino as well if you wanted to, and then hit it up with some cracked black pepper, about five cracks worth. What we're then left with is this absolutely beautiful marry me chicken, or pretty much creamy garlic sun-dried tomato chicken, but this looks and smells fantastic. With everything done though, there is only one thing left to do, and that is, of course, we can then dig in. In all honesty, if you love creamy garlic sauces and you have been enjoying the recipes that I've been making, this possibly might be one of the best ones. It's absolutely delicious. There is so much flavor. It's rich, it's creamy, beautiful texture, and that chicken's cooked absolutely perfectly. Sun-dried tomatoes and the oil that we use to cook the chicken blends so well. And then you've got all the fresh herbs. You can obviously use dried as well. Fresh is always best though. And this is absolutely delicious. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Really does help me out. Helps the channel be seen by more people. And consider subscribing along with hitting the bell notification next to it so you never miss when I upload. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.